looking at a falter. You better give up, Kent. I... Dr. Bryant. Calling Dr. Bryant. Come in, Walter. We have arrived safely with the laboratory supplies, in spite of some attempted interference by another of Kent Fowler's planes. Good. Now you have enough equipment to actually start working on our atomic weapons. If you expect me to turn out atomic products comparable to the ones we have on Mars, I must have uranium and lots of it. I believe I've solved our problem. A man named Boyd, who used to work for me, is now in charge of the shipping department at Argosy Metals. I've contacted him. And for a reasonable consideration, he's agreed to smuggle out all the uranium we need. Fine. Now, nothing stands in the way of putting our plan of world conquest into operation. Let me know as soon as you secure the uranium. Yes, sir. Hello, Helen. Good morning, Kent. Hi, Steve. I've just lined up a job for us. Good. Business has been kind of slow. What is it? Well, Argosy Metals is short considerable amounts of refined uranium. They don't know how it's being stolen, but it looks like an inside job. So in addition to our regular air patrol over their plant, they want us to get on our feet again and be detectives for a change. Well, a job's a job. Since we've lost two planes lately, <laughs> maybe we belong on the ground. It could be, you're right. Now, it's a good bet that the uranium is being smuggled out among shipments of other stuff. So I've got a Geiger counter out in the car, and we're going to hang around their shipping plant. If any uranium has moved out, the counter will pick it up. Sounds easy. When do we start? Right now. We'll keep in touch with you, Helen. Right. See if you can see what they're loading. Powdered manganese. It can't be. It must be uranium. Can we grab them now? No, we'll follow this truck and see where they deliver this stuff. Drive around to the front of the building and see what this place is. Must be the 
place with a car parked in front of it. Yes, let's take a look. Hey, wait. That's Drake and Ryan with those same two boxes. Well, what are we waiting for? No. I want the higher-ups in this deal, too. We'll follow and see where they take this stuff. Looks like that car might be trailing. Let's find out. Hey, they act like they spotted us. Yeah, I'm afraid so. But we can stay with them anyway. He's after us, all right. Then stop him. How about it? Fire away. We'll never catch him now. There's the uranium. That's fine. Now that they know how the stuff's getting out of the plant, they're sure to check up and suspect Boyd. So what? We've got the uranium. Suppose they make Boyd talk. I hadn't thought of that. Well, we'll just have to shut him up. Permanently. I suppose you're right, but how do we arrange it? Phone him. Tell him to meet me tonight back at your old mill building. You mean here, right in my own plant? Sure. That big incinerator of yours is just a place to get rid of the evidence. Very well, I'll call him. Find out anything about that store where Drake and Ryan picked up the uranium? It was vacant. They must have just used it for a transfer point. Probably. I've just been talking to the manager at Argosy, and the delivery truck driver seems to be in the clear. They're pretty sure that the inside man is their head shipping clerk, Boyd, but they have no definite evidence against him. So, what do we do now? Well, Boyd gets off work at 9 tonight, and we're going to trail him. I'll take him on tonight, and Steve, you can have the job tomorrow. If he's our man, he'll probably be contacting some of the rest of the gang. Here comes Boyd now. Thank you. I want you to go ahead and... 
Take his head. Hold it. Same now. 